Flamio Hutman. Um, pardon the messy desk, I'm obviously, if you've seen my other videos, in the middle of some projects, and I don't really want to clean it up until I'm done working on it, so just have to work around it. Um, gonna take a brief interlude here. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the wonderful Game Boy camera, and it's many inadequacies if you try and use it in a uh, Game Boy Advance here. If I can figure out how the hell this thing works. Um, obviously, since the carts go in the bottom here, the camera itself is going to be upside down. Um, I don't have to keep booting this up to show you. And, yeah. Well, with the way my desk is set up, you can't see shit anyway. But, you'll just have to take my word for it if you've never played with one. This is designed for a Game Boy that the cart slot is on top like a Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, pretty much anything but a Game Boy Advance SP. Um, for a while, there was something called a cartwheel. I think it's still available. I don't know. It's never been in stock every time I've checked. Uh, either way, what it is designed to flip the flip the cart around 90 degrees in a Game Boy Advance SP so that you know, basically you use it like this and you can keep using it. It also looks like the cart itself, it's designed to be offset so that you can still use the link port there. You know, you print out your stuff, if you use a Game Boy printer. Um, it's pretty ingenious design, but between the fact that it's nearly never in stock and uh, I think a little bit overpriced, I decided to make my own. Um, I've learned quite a few things along the way, such that it's only overpriced, or seemingly overpriced, because, well, it's not exactly that cheap to make. I got my own PCBs here, uh, prototyped. I completely forgot to take the word test off the silk screen, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so how this works, and of course I'll still have to shave off some of Osh Park's... Um, whatchamacallits here, uh, but there are little tabs left over from panelizing the different designs. How they work is you get a, they get a bunch of orders in bulk, um, not specifically from me, but just everyone ordering from Osh Park, and then they'll go ahead and just panelize them, put them all on one board, and make them all at the same time. It saves money on their end and ends up being cheaper to make the boards. Unfortunately, my particular boards, I don't know what the hell happened, but they came out defective. I think I'll be able to work around them, especially if I'm a little bit careful, but just something to keep an eye on. And I did open up a support ticket, go figure, and they left it hanging for a week so far without even responding, so I don't know what the hell's going on with that. I'm tired of waiting on them, so I'm just going to try and make it and see what happens. And uh, if these boards don't work, well then I'll, uh, I'll let them know. So I designed it so that it's two separate boards here. You just get this made and then you break them apart, separate them. Uh, and this is my first time designing panelized boards myself. I've panelized boards, but I've never actually designed one to be panelized, and I'm pretty happy with how easy that was to snap apart there. And I'm just filing it down so that it's nice, and flat, there's no sharp edges. All the corners and stuff should already be rounded over. There's that. And there's that. So, anyway. Enough of that. What we need to actually assemble this, not that much, you will need a cart shell, and of course I grabbed this one. I have plenty of these just laying around. This is an aftermarket one, so I don't really give a shit about cutting it up. This is going to go in here, like that, and 
I just realized how much this moves around, so it's probably going to have to be taped down or something. But the idea is, you put that in there, then you use some of these angled headers, soldered down, to connect that there. And once all this is soldered together, you'll be able to insert your Game Boy camera or Kirby's Tilt and Tumble, whatever the hell you want to play, and play it on your SP without having to do any crazy workarounds. Um, but I already did notice a few issues with this design, and I did try remedying some of those. Um, turns out it's a lot harder to make one single board than I thought and it's just not working out. Uh, I'll post the prototype that I made if you guys want to try it out, but just be aware that it does require some hand touch-up after the fact, but it should be cheaper because this one you have to get two boards made, whereas the other one I designed should just be one board and you use it either for the top or the bottom. Turns out it's a lot harder than I thought to fit all of the wiring on one single board here without making it four layers and if you do that well then it's not going to be too cheap. So anyway, nonetheless, I digress. I'm going to go ahead and use these angled header pins here and I just noticed that mine I don't know why they did this I'm guessing maybe it was cheaper that way but both sides are the same length but one side has the the plastic part that holds it together those I mean I can't solder it down that way and they don't I don't think it'll be tall enough if I solder it long ways so if I do it like this I don't think it'll clear the top of the SP you know what? There's a easy way to find out, isn't there? Let me break off as much as I need. And then we'll just uh, insert that and see does that stick up enough? And you know, I think it does. I think we're going to be okay. It is just barely going to fit, but just barely is good enough. My only issue is I don't know how to hold that in place. And obviously that's not designed for that, but I mean, it should still work. All right. Break off another bit. Because this won't insert into my header and, and uh, hold into place. You can buy, and you probably should buy, the uh, double sided ones instead of just using two single sided ones that would probably make life a lot easier. But I'm just using what I have. This is not gonna work too well. So, I got the one corner, let me do this other corner too. And I'm just using this uh, header piece right here to help position everything. It's, I don't plan on keeping it there. But, got two corners, oh no, because those aren't connected. So I'll keep that there just in case. And I am going to have to trim these down.
And I do have quite a few shorts already, but I can take care of that when everything's soldered down. By the way, while I'm soldering, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos. I'm sure some of you have, but some of you might not be interested. I've been working on fixing up some 3DS consoles. That's what one of these is. Um, I just have that one charging batteries for now. But, I'm at the point where I have to make a decision here. I can fix another one and assemble it in either my aftermarket white shell or I can try and put together the uh, black shell with like the purple top half or something. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, so let me know what you think would be better. I have enough parts to make a 3DS that is either black on bottom and purple on top Or, uh, yeah, black on bottom, purple on top, and then I have a full aftermarket white housing. And, of course, I could do any combo of the uh, those ones. And then I have black buttons, white buttons, and then purple buttons. I'm leaning towards just the white shell only because that one already has the working screen and camera and everything in it. But, I don't know, let, let me know what you guys think. I'm not going to work on that until I get the uh, aftermarket screen that I ordered. Just so I can try and minimize how many times I have to take apart these stupid things and put them back together. And a uh, spoiler alert, that US white console that I was working on reseating the cable did not fix it. I think that I think I broke it. Or it was already broken. I don't know. It didn't work when I started. It still doesn't work, so come on. I'm gonna have to use the solder wick on this one. Alright, fine, I'll come back to you. I don't know how I ended up with so much solder on that one. There we go. Well, that was significantly more work than I expected. I don't really like these angle headers. I don't know how else to do it though. I suppose I could use the flat headers and you just have to trim them flush. That might be worth looking into. But those all appear soldered to me. Hopefully there aren't any shorts. If there are, we'll uh, deal with that later. Or actually, I should check that beforehand, but then I'm going to go ahead and solder that like this. You want to solder it while it's installed. I'm thinking I might use a different SP, though, because I'd rather like to not screw up my nice limited edition here. Uh, 
but then that should just go on like that. And that should be it. And of course, I don't have another SP over here. Somehow. Wait, yeah, I do. Uh, excuse me for just a moment. Eh, no, I don't. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Went to grab another SP. Uh, I also took a few minutes to trim off these pins and double check that there weren't any shorts. All I did, I just touched one probe to the first pin, then dragged the second probe along every pin, and, to, and then moved on to the second pin, dragging along, third pin, so on and so forth, till I reached the end. Just wanted to double check that there weren't any shorts, because once you solder on the next part, it's going to be hard to go back and fix that, so that's that. I'm going to go ahead and get started on that now. Um, I want to... Oh, these are just barely not long enough. Uh, I think it should be fine, but... I don't like it. Okay. So I'm going to pull that out just a little bit so that it sits flush. See if I can get the first couple started. Uh. By the way, the cart slot or the cart reader itself isn't soldered down yet. It just holds there through uh, sheer force of will, apparently. No, the, um, there are holes in the bottom. And apparently the tolerances are tight enough that it doesn't move. Okay. So that should hold it in place while I manipulate it. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. I was just trying to bend it so that, because when I insert it, this back part lifts up off the uh, back shell. I was trying to bend it so that it inserts smoothly and still allows it to lift up. You know what will make this so much easier? I can do both parts at the same time if I use a little bit of flux. I hate soldering down these cart readers because I always have to use flux and then I always have to clean up the flux and then it never goes as smoothly as I want and yada yada. Well, it's soldered down now. There are tons of shorts. 
but I'll fix that in a bit. That part went suspiciously smooth. Probably not doing what I want it to do. Oh shit, never mind. Boom. All right. Now, if all went well, well, shit. That doesn't even have batteries in it. Okay. That doesn't either. Well, I guess we'll use the limited edition one. What the hell, what's the worst that could happen? Okay, so that's a good sign. Doesn't short out and it does boot to Game Boy Color mode. Let's try out Game Boy Color or Game Boy Camera, excuse me. Nintendo logo. Alright, alright. Ah, ah. How's that look? How do you like them apples? I realize you can't really see the screen. But, you'll have to take my word for it, it is upright. There's that 3DS. You can uh, turn this, nope, this turns that way. Oop, and I moved it too far. Accidentally uh, jostled it. But, there you go, there's that. Um, it's not offset to the side or anything, but there's still plenty of room to sneak a uh, cable in there and there should be enough leverage to just bend it anyway. Um, next up, I suppose one should clean up this flux residue. But beyond that, we can trim this case before I continue with that. We're going to put that back in here. <laughs> oh, my fingers are all sticky. Alright, so... Right there, right there, it should bend off. And then you can uh, stick this down with double-sided adhesive or um, trim off the front and try and 
get that in there too. That should be fine. And that way you can screw it down. It won't go anywhere. You'll have to, uh, probably would have been easier to trim the front before soldering this up. But, uh, there you go. And then you can screw that together and it'll hold it down. But I think double-sided tape would just be easier. This game was broken. Sorry, I keep going back and forth. But there you go. That'll do it for you. Of course, the single biggest issue, and I kind of figured this would be an issue beforehand, but whatever. Um, you put your hands here, it's really easy to jostle the card around and it won't work. You'll uh, accidentally disconnect it or something and you're going to have a bad time. But there you go. Let me know what you guys think, if you can think of any way to improve this or make it better. Alright, quick addendum. Uh, I ended up cutting the top half of a case here. Uh, I just kind of eyeballed it, scored it with the knife, and then broke it off. Um, same way I usually cut it, but I also ended up gluing this into the bottom half here. And, you know, at first that sounds like a freaking awful idea, but it makes this thing so much more sturdy once you insert it in here, it's not going anywhere. You can't really wiggle it anymore. Um, so highly recommend gluing it in and it's just hot glue, nothing, nothing fancy. I just put down a line on the bottom and then I accidentally put down a line on this side as well because I tried inserting it backwards at first. And then I also put on the top and screwed it down so it doesn't go anywhere but highly recommend gluing this down and don't forget to solder these two points as well um, just to make it a little bit stronger. But otherwise, this thing works great. If you need to uh, use Game Boy Camera on your GBASP. And like I said, you know, there's plenty of room to get a cable in there so you don't need to offset. And there's plenty of, uh, plenty of flex within the design there. Not necessarily by design but you know that's just kind of how it is um but yeah let me know if you guys have any ideas for improvement or you know maybe i could do something not necessarily improvement but to make it cheaper to design like i said i'll go ahead and post those beta files that i made uh, it should be cheaper to manufacture since it's just one board instead of one board instead of two uh you just use the same board for either the top or the bottom you still need physically two boards, uh, but you know most PCB fabs give you at least three boards anyway, so it should be cheaper to manufacture. Um, but it does require a little bit more effort because on the bottom half of the board you'll have to run three wires manually because I just I I couldn't place all sixty some odd traces, sixty four traces on a two layer board. It just it wasn't happening. Um, but anyway, let me know if you guys like that. I might not necessarily respond to every comment, but I certainly do read every comment that you guys leave on my videos. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a good night.